Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And in this video, I wanna share a couple of tips and tricks and flows to help keep you cool this summer. Now, I've got a couple of smart fans here with me. And I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about these two fans. <laughs> Sorry. And you can use them to obviously cool down your home, use them in your bedroom, in your living room, in your office, to help keep you cool with a nice breeze during the day. Let me start by showing off a flow using zone activity. You might have spotted this little motion sensor here. I'm gonna wave my hand in front of it and you'll see on my phone a notification appear. Now if I tap on this, I get a quick confirmation, yes or no. In this case, hell yeah, I wanna turn on my fan. So I'm gonna tap on yes. Fan turns on, set to a certain speed and should start oscillating. Now, if you think this fan is a little bit short, it actually comes with an extender piece. So you can set it up as a sort of standing fan. And this is the Duke's Whisper Flex. And a great thing about this is not only is it smart, you can connect it up to Homey, but it's also really quiet. So it's a great addition, for instance, in your bedroom. If you have trouble getting to sleep with a loud fan going on in the background. Now, if you're not familiar with the push confirmation card, let me jump into the flow real quick and show you how this works. So obviously my when card is this zone became active and that makes use of the motion sensor that I have set up in my film studio zone. Under the and cards, I actually have two cards here. I have one that looks at the temperature and I have a second that sends me a push confirmation, which I can pretty much word myself and add tags into. So in this case, I have the temperature is, and then I have the temperature tag taken from the motion sensor so this is a motion sensor from Fabaro, which means it also measures the temperature in the room. And I have the question, turn on fan. And a push confirmation will always have a yes or no. And if you hit yes, the flow continues. And if you hit no, you can also have the flow continue, but then you're adding then cards under the else section. So this is a great tool for flows that you might not want triggering every single time, but you want to have a quick confirmation sent to your smartphone so that you can trigger them manually. Now I've got another flow for you. And this one has to do with going to sleep. So when it's bedtime, I'm gonna set myself to sleep. And with that event happening, I have my Dyson Link fan turn on. And what's interesting about this is that I've added a quick delay and you'll see it here on the right that basically says after 30 minutes, turn off the fan again. Cause I'm one of those people that's a little bit sensitive to external noises in the bedroom. And this is where I've got this fan placed. So to make sure that I can actually fall asleep after about 30 minutes, I've got the fan turn off. And this is a great flow to combine with your other nighttime flows. So if you have a bedtime flow that for instance, closes your curtains, maybe dims your lights to a certain comfortable level for the evening, you can also combine this with that flow and then have that 30 minute delay to turn off the fan again. Now I have a third flow I wanna share with you. And this actually looks at creating your own smart air filtration system and how you can set this up. So I've got a flow here on my right and you'll see that the trigger uses environmental data collected from, for instance, a NetAtma home coach. That flow then triggers this fan from Dyson to turn on, which also has that air filtration built into it. And then you can create another flow that says, hey, when it drops below a certain threshold value, turn off the fan again to make sure that you save energy. And obviously I have it set up that when no one's home, then the flow doesn't continue. And that's in that and car. Now remember, with the flows that I've shown you today, you can also set these up with a smart air conditioning system. So you can have, for instance, when the zone becomes active, my air conditioning turns on. Or if, for instance, the humidity is surpassing a certain level, or the temperature in a room is surpassing a certain level, you can turn on your air conditioning units. And by creating these connections, you can create a better smart home for yourself. Now, I hope by sharing these flows with you, you're able to stay cool this summer. Oh, wait, I need, I, need, I need to spray myself. Uh, uh, make it look like it's hot in here.